What I have here in my hands, folks, is a tent from 3FUL. This is the Taiji two-person tent. As you can see here, it's a little bit dirty, and that's because I've begun testing this out. Recently, I took this out to the Utah desert for a backpacking trip, and that's where I've begun my testing with this shelter. This is a preview, a first look, and I'm going to share with you all my impressions of this product so far. But do know this, I'm in the middle of testing out this product, and my review will be coming up in the future. This is one of those products where I've received so many questions about it that I figured that it warranted a preview. That's why I'm here, and that's what this episode is all about. <laughs> Three FUL Gear is a company that has a growing fan base. They're becoming known for making good quality products at a fair price. In the case here with this tent, it uses fantastic materials, the weight is low, and the cost is not bad at all. The company claims this is a two-person tent, and by the definition, it's truly that. This day and age, it's very easy to find what the company calls a two-person tent, where it's not really big enough, large enough for two people. That's not the case here with the Taiji. It is large enough for two people plus their gear. So with that being said, this is a two-person, two-door, freestanding tent, and let's go ahead and let's take a look at the components. To begin with the component breakdown, the first item that I want to talk about is this. This is a ground sheet, and it is included with the tent. In addition to the ground sheet, you receive the tent and all of the contents. This is the storage bag. As you can see here, you have a carry handle. Up at the top, you have two buckles. And this features a roll top design. We have a strap that goes around the tent body. We receive four guy lines, some repair material, a pole sleeve for a broken pole, and there are 12 tent stakes. Next up everyone, we have the poles. With this tent, you have three poles, two long ones, one short one. The two go across the body, the short pole is the cross support. Then you have the tent body and the fly. In this case, they are joined together. This tent features a fly first design, meaning that you can pitch this tent with the fly on top and you don't have to worry about the inside of the tent getting wet. That is a very unique feature to this tent. And at least here in the United States, it's very uncommon. I'm going to set up this tent and go over the basic setup process with you all. Since it's windy, I'm going to stake it out, then move to the poles. Even though I'm staking it out, keep in mind this is a freestanding tent. Once you have the fly clipped to the main body poles, now it's time to move over to the small support pole. Once you're done with the poles, go ahead and stake out the doors. You could stake out the sides if you need to, and you could stake out the guy lines, again, if you need to. As you all can see here, the setup process of this tent is very, very simple. There really is nothing to it. The fact that you can set this up in the rain without the body getting wet, that is a sweet feature. On each side of this tent, you have doors, and each of these doors are massive. You can roll these back. You can also roll back the vestibule. The vestibule portion does have a vent, and again, you have this on each side. Over the zipper for each door, you have a storm flap. Hopefully you all can see just how large the inside of this tent is. I mean, the doors are huge. I can easily sit up in here and so could another person. This tent is so big that you can have two full-size adults, their sleeping pads, shoes, backpacks, and even more. 
that's how big this tent is. When you're on the inside, you have a bathtub floor, tape seams, you have one mesh pocket down at the end, a hook at the top for hanging, and that's it. In a nutshell, my friends, that is the 3FUL tent. Now let's go over some stats real quick. With this tent, there are two versions of it. A three season version, which I have here, and there's also a fourth season version. The differences between these tents are dramatic and they're very important. With the three season version, you have lots of mesh. With the fourth season version, you have a lot of fabric. This is going to work best in warm conditions. The fourth season version is going to work best in cold conditions. In the warmer months, you want a lot of mesh. That way you could feel some airflow coming into the tent. That way you can release heat. In the winter time, you want fabric to block the breeze, to hold in heat, to block out snow. When it comes to the materials for the three season version, they are as follows. You have a 15 denier ripstop nylon that's been treated with silicone on the outside, polyurethane on the inside. The inner material is a 20 denier nylon mesh. You have aluminum poles, aluminum stakes, YKK zippers, and Duraflex hooks. According to the company, the hydrostatic head rating for this tent is 5,000. That is incredibly high and should translate to a very waterproof tent. When the tent is stored, you're looking at 18 inches by six and a half inches. When the tent is set up, you're looking at seven feet, one inches long. It is four feet, five inches wide, and you have a peak height of three feet, 11 inches. The weight of the tent, including the body, the fly, the poles, the tent stakes, that is four pounds, four and a half ounces. If you wanna add the ground sheet, that's an additional 5.1 ounces. At the time of filming, the tent runs $213 on Amazon. The retail price of this is $222 for the three season version. It is $230 for the fourth season version. Lastly, my friends, you will find this tent in three colors. Gray white, which you see here. There's a khaki color and also a green color. Before I go over my impressions of this tent so far with my use, I wanna talk about a feature that is very, very important. It's a big deal. So I purchased here the three season version, but let's say that I wanna convert this tent to the fourth season version. I can do that. For $105, I can order the fourth season inner for this tent. The inners for this tent are removable. So let's say that you buy the fourth season version, you can replace it with the three season, vice versa. That is an incredible feature for this tent. You may be thinking to yourself, who cares? What's the big deal? The big deal is this. This means that you could buy one tent and use it year round. You don't have to buy multiple tents. That's very impressive. For a small investment, you can use one tent all year round. This is such an important feature because it's really uncommon in the outdoor space. There are very few tents that allow for this functionality. This is an aspect to this system that I find incredibly impressive. It's thinking like this that I really like. I like seeing products that can cover all of your bases, right? That way you don't have to go out and purchase multiple tents because that is an issue when it comes to outdoorsmen, outdoors women. Most people don't wanna dedicate an entire room to gear so they can go camping all year long. Also, they don't wanna purchase tent after tent to cover all of the potential trips that they can go on. With a shelter like this, you have it covered. You have the mesh for the warm months and you have the fabric inner for the colder ones. Now, of course, my friends, there's a lot of questions that need to be answered there before I can recommend this system. But based upon my use so far, here are my impressions. So first off, the construction of this tent is very, very good. I've seen no loose threads. Everything here looks great. The setup process of this tent is very, very simple. You could do it in the wind. You can do it on a nice day like today. All in all, no big deal, super simple. Again, everyone, this is a very large tent, large enough for two people plus their gear. It is without a doubt a palace for one person. You could easily have one person, your dog, gear. I mean, there's a ton of space inside of this tent. And I'll tell you what, folks, let's measure this real quick. For maximum comfort, being under six feet, four inches is best with this tent. If you're taller than that, your head and your feet are going to touch the walls. Width-wise, you're looking at about four feet, three inches. Height-wise, three feet, four inches. One thing that I've discovered over the years while reviewing tents is that you cannot trust company measurements. Most people don't care about the external measurements of a tent. They care about the internal measurements. And unfortunately, these are not measurements that companies give. That's why I measure each tent. Let's talk about weight for a second. With this tent being over four pounds, that is a little bit heavy for a two-person tent. What you have to keep in mind is the size of this two-person tent. This is a true two-person tent. Two individuals, gear, packs, shoes, and so on. And both individuals can sit up inside of the tent at the same time. So in my opinion, for a two-person tent, the weight is not bad. In fact, it's impressive. Next, folks, let's talk about the materials for this tent. You're looking at basically the best of the best. Ripstop nylon, 
silicone and PU treated, YKK zippers, even the mesh is nylon. Most companies, when they have mesh, it features a polyester which is weaker. That's not the case here. All in all, the materials are excellent. So far with my testing, the ventilation and condensation control has been excellent as well. This is an aspect that I will continue to test out though. As far as waterproofness goes, I have no idea. That testing is coming up. With my testing so far, I could say that this tent does not feature the best wind resistance. And that's because the company has not placed any guy line points on the tent flies themselves. You have guy line points on the poles, but on the sides of the tent, when it's really windy, they have a tendency to push in into the tent body. And again, this is because there's no way to pull that material out in a way. For summertime use, this tent is going to be adequate as far as its wind resistance goes. But the question is, what about winter use? Later on this year, I will test out that aspect, along with the fourth season inner. As far as my impressions go of this tent, that's all I have for you now. But ultimately, my review of this tent will be coming up. All in all, I really like what I see here. 3 FUL has made an excellent tent with excellent materials, a low weight, and also a low cost. To summarize my thoughts on this tent so far, I really like what I'm seeing with this tent. The only real issue that I see with it is wind resistance, namely at the front and the back. And that's because there's no way to pull the fly away from the body. So in strong winds, those winds hit that fly and push the material into the tent body. In the end, it's not that big of a deal, but it's certainly an improvement that the company can make in the future. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about this 3F UL tent? What do you all think about the size? What do you all think about the price of this? Make sure to stay tuned to the channel as my rain testing with this tent will begin shortly. I'm done for now, folks. Everyone, take care, be well, strength and honor. Bye for now.